Hi there, it's Nicole for Handmade Holiday 2015, and today I have a set of four gift card holder cards with matching stamped envelopes, and I also stamped some sticker labels. These are four bar sized cards, and I used this adorable Winter Friends stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. These are images created by Clearly Besotted for Simon Says Stamp. Plus, I used the new gift card slots dies part of uh, one of the more recent Simon Says Stamp releases. And I created a panel inside of these cards to slip in a gift card. So if you have some um, friends or family that you wanna send a gift to, and you're not giving the gift card in person, not only are you sending a lovely sentiment and message but you're also sending them their gift inside of a pretty package, which is this card in this instance. Um, it's just another way to present a gift card, which are a popular and easy gift, especially if you're mailing out a gift to someone. Um, to start this, I decided to use four of the images from the Winter Friends Clearly Besotted Simon Says Stamp stamp set, and I stamped them on some smooth white cardstock using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. A couple of those images I needed to stamp more than once, simply because I didn't get a very good impression the first time. I'm using the reindeer, Santa, the snowman, and the penguin in the stocking cap. There is another image and then some greetings in this stamp set as well, although I chose to use a different greeting stamp set for my cards today. Everything about the cards except for these four images are going to be exactly the same. Um, all of my projects, <clears throat> excuse me, for Handmade Holiday are created in an hour or less, even if I'm creating multiples. These cards were created at just about an hour. You can do it even with the coloring if you kind of break it down like I'm doing here. So I started with the most time consuming aspect, aspect of these cards which is the coloring of the images. You might even be able to make that a little bit quicker and easier if you would use maybe something other than Copics, you didn't do so much blending, this and that. I did pretty simple Copic coloring. The colors are shown across the bottom or the top of the screen, depending on where I'm coloring, so that you can see exactly which colors I used. I colored in everything and then I'm gonna die cut them. And then from there, I'll move on to my assembly line style process of putting together my images, or my cards, rather. So Santa is gonna have some red. To speed up the, the coloring process, I did stick to pretty similar colors for all four um, images. So the reds I used for Santa, I used those also for the stocking cap on the penguin and the earmuffs on the snowman and the nose on the reindeer. The grays I'm using for Santa's belt and boots, I'm gonna be using those same dark grays for the penguin. I just didn't run over and get um, additional colors of markers, if that makes sense. It, by using kind of the colors I already had out, I didn't go pull different reds to, to do the Santa's outfit as opposed to the earmuffs. It just makes it a lot easier to kind of keep with the same colors when you're trying to color a lot of images. Also, it probably would have been even quicker or maybe even a little less than an hour if I had kept to one image and made multiples and colored in maybe four Santas, four snowmen. Um, I couldn't decide between these four images. I thought they were all so super cute. Um, this was a release from last year in 2014 that I've never used, and so it was kind of fun to pull out a new stamp set to create with. And I liked the variety of images as well. For my light grays, I am using Warm Gray 00 and 1, maybe a little 5 here and there if I needed some shadowing like on the beard and mustache on Santa. Just blending it out really good with Warm Gray 00. Even those white areas have some warm gray to them for some color. This is a Spica glitter pin from Copic that I used for his belt bu buckle in gold. Then I'll move over to Rudolph. 
with that big sh uh, big red nose there that I'm going to add some shine to with the Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Rush Pin. Once I get all these colored in and die cut, I can add some really fun accents to all of them. For my base color of the reindeer, it's E43. For the tummy, it's E40. And then I'm going to darken everything up with E44 and E49 too for the hooves and antlers and maybe just a little additional shadowing. There's a little R00 on the insides of the reindeer ears. And like I said, the coloring was by far the most time consuming part of putting together these cards, but I still managed to get it done in under an hour or right at an hour, I guess it was which was really great. That's what I'm shooting for with all of these handmade holiday videos and projects. They're last minute ideas for creating gift wrapping of some sort, whether it be tags, bags, or gift card presentations, things like that. Just great ways to add that personalized touch during the holiday season, but things that aren't gonna take you hours upon hours to create. And hopefully maybe by doing these videos, you can just kind of maybe copy what I've done or do something very similar and get those done quickly and easily and be able to give a really nice um, handmade presentation to all of those loved ones this holiday season. Color in those antlers. I didn't even do any shading with those. Those are just solid E49. Go ahead and go with the penguin now. Gonna add some nice dark grays here with the warm grays. I'm using my darker warm grays for the body of the penguin and then my lighter warm grays for the tummy area. And again, I'm gonna stick with the red and white theme for the hat and do a little orange with the YR04 and 09 for the beak and feet. I use those same colors for the carrot nose on the snowman. I'm not going to worry too much about the eyes on the critters at the moment. I had gone back in with a white pen and added those flecks back in if I accidentally colored over them. But I, once I have these die cut, I am going to go ahead and really do some work on all of the eyes to really make them pop. Did a little dot detail for the tummy. I did that on the reindeer as well, the reindeer and the penguin. Added my red for the hat, and then I'll use a little of the light warm grays for the rest of the hat. A little dark warm gray for the buttons on the snowman as well. Here's a black gel pen, and I'm going to go ahead and color over the entire eye. And then once that's dry, I can go back with a white gel pen. So before I do any of the rest of these, I decided to go ahead and go in with my dies. These are the coordinating dies that go with these Winter Friends images. I'll tape them in place and then run them all through the Big Shot die cutting machine. I find that I like to wait to do some of those detail things like adding the wink of Stella or any detail to the eyes with gel or glaze pins until I've die cut everything so that they don't flatten out or make sure nothing uh, sticks to the cutting plates. So here I went ahead and added the white flex to the penguin's eyes because the black gel pen has already already dried, so I'll go back over all of the others with my black gel pen, and I'm gonna let that dry really good. So I'll take the Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pen, add detail to the Rudolph's nose, Santa's clothes, the hat on the penguin, and the earmuffs on the snowman. I'm gonna add some glossy accents to the noses, feet, um, little areas there, the buttons on the snowman. And then I can go in and add my white flex back to the eyes, and that really just makes the images come, al come alive. I'll set those aside, and I am gonna use the new four bar sized stitched rectangle dies from Lawn Fawn, and the stitched slot dies from Simon Says Stamp, 
and I am going to die cut some panels. So the inside panel of the card where I'm actually gonna stick the gift cards, I am gonna die cut not only the rectangle that fits inside the four bar sized note card, but that long horizontal slit there. That is gonna give me that spot to tuck the gift card. And if you cut them at the same time, it just cuts down on your time. It's not quite as time consuming. For the front of my card, I'm gonna need several panels. And this is some watercolor paper. I'm gonna cut four of these. And then I'm gonna take a couple of the four bar size st stitched rectangles and die cut them together to give me frames. Now I wanna keep the frames and I wanna keep those inside pieces. That inside piece is gonna be cut down even further. This just saves some steps for die cutting. Get all four of my frames. Then from that small rectangle, I am gonna take the stitched slopes and bo uh, hills borders from Simon Says Stamp and die cut a border for each of these little scenes that I'm gonna be creating. The die cutting goes really quickly if you do it all at once. Now from those watercolor rectangles, I'm gonna apply some Blueprint Sketch Distress Ink. And I don't have to adhere it all the way down because part of that panel will be covered up with the snowy border I just die cut. But I wanna cover most of it. And I am using only one color of ink. You could definitely apply a couple of colors and blend them out together or more. Once I have that blueprint sketch ink applied, I'm gonna take the distress sprayer filled with water and spritz all four backgrounds with this water. And you can see immediately the water starts to wick that ink away. I'm gonna let that sit for about 30 to 60 seconds and then dab it up with a dry paper towel and it just reveals amazing results. I love these backgrounds. I think they are so pretty and fun. I'm gonna set those aside to dry and take all of the inside panels that I die cut. And using a phrase from the Simon Says Stamp Holiday Hellos stamp set, I'm gonna stamp the phrase right below where that gift card is gonna slip in that says from our house to yours. Just a nice little way to finish off the inside of the card. Then you could hand write your greeting and your name and things underneath that. So on the inside of the Simon Says Stamp four bar sized cards, I'm going to place this panel. I made sure and, and only placed my adhesive up at the top and then one little strip at the bottom. That way that's gonna leave room to tuck in a gift card. I'll do that on all four of the cards and then take a bone folder and crease the cards really well. I'm gonna work on the scene next. I have a couple more phrases from the Holiday Hellos stamp set that I laid out and picked up with an acrylic block. And I'm going to stamp those in black ink on my snowy background on each of the cards. It's gonna read Seasons Greetings and a Happy New Year on each of those panels. So again, assembly line style. I took the snowflakes from the Winter Friends stamp set and stamped those with some Yeti white pigment ink on the background. And then holding my frame in place on the front of the card, I'm gonna attach my winter scene, place the snowy border there along the bottom of that panel, and then use some large glue dots to attach the critter to that panel. On the frame itself, I'm gonna take foam adhesive. This foam adhesive from Scotch is exactly the same width as the frame, so I'm gonna place that all the way around, pull off my backing paper, and then just place that right around that scene on the card. And it's gonna frame it up really nicely and give it some great dimension. I'm gonna finish each of the cards with a scattering of Pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Clear Sequins. Just adds a fun little sparkly touch and some nice dimension. And then all the cards are finished. I'm gonna take some four bar white envelopes from Lawn Fawn now, and using the um, Simon Says Stamp Holiday Envelope Sentiments, I'm gonna stamp that frame, the bow, and the phrase sending, sending Christmas Wishes To. I'm using Lawn Fawn Black Licorice Ink and Lobster Red Ink, and then the snowflakes also from this Holiday Envelope Sentiments stamp set stamped in red on each of the envelopes. 
this just makes a nice coordinating envelope. It really dresses it up. It makes it almost look like the nice gift packaging for your gift card. So the card and the gift card are part of the gift. I'm going to just do the same thing for all four envelopes. Dress them up a little bit. You can place the recipient's name right inside that stamped uh, rectangle. Go ahead and finish with this last one real quick, or these last couple. Add that scattering of snowflakes. And then I'll finish off by stamping the seal from this stamp set on sticker paper four times with that lobster red ink and then punch them out with the one and a quarter inch circle punch. You can peel off the backing on the sticker paper then and seal your envelope once you've placed your gift card and card inside of the envelope. A nice way to finish off the back of the card and add a little stamping there as well. So I'll punch that out and these will be finished. You could package this up even and give it as a gift for someone else to use. This is one of those items that would look really nice all packaged up together and given to somebody that you know likes sending out um, handmade cards. Thanks for watching this video showcasing these great gift card holder cards with matching envelopes. The supplies I've used to create these cards and envelopes are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos you might be interested in. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.